careful you don't catch any of the wires on the pillar there because you um you need to keep them clear because you're going to stab your screws through them now so getting your pillar let me get your pillar getting your plastic thing put the two plastic tab sides in first because you won't break anything then And there's two, I'll point that out to you, there's two little sticky up things there. Make sure your cable goes in between them. And then every little thing will be all right. Have I done that right? I think I have. So that side's clipped in, so it's floppy again now. But we don't want it floppy, as we said before. We want it done properly. So getting your two screws. Feed them back in the holes. Holes, even. It's my accent. And tighten them up. My mother's from Bolton, you see. And I pick up the accent when I visit the family. So some people think I'm from Bolton, although that's not the case. Right, so they're tight. Bit of muck build up in there. Ooh. Do that. So there we go. How absolutely marvellous is that? We have ourselves a lovely grommet. That is brilliant. That is one job sorted. There we go. So I've decided I'm not going to do the plug on camera because you all know how to wire a plug. Well, most of you know how to wire a plug. And if you don't, there's other videos showing you. Um, this is just for the vacuum related repairs, really. And that sort of covers every general appliance. That's as unique to this cleaner. So I won't do the plug. So take one last look at the plug because you won't see it again. Although you will, it's just fallen right in the view. <laughs> right, okay, so that is sorted. What we will do actually is we'll plug it in again to give it another go. But now it will work straight away. It won't have an intermittent connection because that is proper. So I'll move this round and you'll see it will work fine. Bring it closer so you can see, so I'm not lying. <laughs> That works fine. No loose connection there. So what was the other thing I needed to do? Filters and bag. There should be a ring around there. People call it a donut. I don't know what the real name is. Maybe it is donut. A foam ring around there. And what that does, get in the bag, cheap paper pattern copy bag is the foam donut seals around the bag because the, the bag doesn't have a latex seal like lots of models, it's just cardboard. So the foam sucks to there and makes sure there's no air leaks or anything when it goes on like that. Because that's what happens inside there. It just sits on and the foam keeps it on. Again though, as I said, sealed end bag because there's no bag clip with this machine. And the filters are absolutely filthy. I'll see if you can see. You can't, it's too dark. Well, you will be able to see when I take them out because that is another one of our jobs, do the filters. So first off, it's just a, um, there's this top foam filter. Well, it's a sponge or is it, what is it? Anyway, it just sits on. That's probably, mm, doesn't have an air freshener. That's probably the original filter that went in this machine when it was brand new. I think it's genuine because it's got the air freshener pouch at the back there that's just full of muck a bit of hair on it there it's just disgusting really um yeah so there's that and then down here there is a filter fixed in by a screw this is slightly more awkward as you can see you do have to put your hand right down you can almost feel though when you've got the i've got it get the screw out and you can put your hand in and there's the bottom filter 
which just gets it. This is the fixed filter. I know that's the proper name. It's a fixed filter because the screw fixes it down. So keep your screw. Make sure you keep that. You want that because your new filter set does not come with a screw. So there we go. There's the fixed bottom filter and there's the top filter. They're both just like a sponge, really. Well, they're not, are they? I can't think of the name. Anyway, you'll know what I mean. It's just a normal filter, nothing special about it. You can get these on eBay, the three quid a pack or one ninety nine a pack or something anyway. They're great. I always buy these for the twin turbo range. 500 series. So open in here. I'll show you the delights that we have inside. Why have I put that screw in my mouth? I put it down there, shouldn't I? Daft date. Right. So there is our bottom filter, which we can open. So you get one bottom filter. The one thing I will say is, I don't, I don't think you can buy the 500 series genuine filters from Electrolux anymore. Um, so you've not really got a choice. But I do. I always bought the pattern ones anyway, because they're just cheaper and they do the job. But this bottom one is paper thin. It really is. You can see through it. Um, that's one thing I will say. The genuine Electrolux bottom fixed filters were better quality. Ooh, there's a bit of muck in there. What we'll do, though, because, well, we could vacuum it out, couldn't we? Or we could be lazy and tip the whole thing upside down and any muck will just fall onto the floor. What's that, a sair clip? A little sair clip there. And what... What this can then be used for is when we've done, we can see how good the machine performs by what it's left on the carpet. Now all that's there, we'll leave that there. So when I've fixed it, we can go, oh, look at that, it's working properly. Hooray for Jake. Right, so where's my bottom filter? So there's your bottom one, and then it, it does come with three top filters. That's the proper name for these top filters, which is great because your bottom filter, really, you shouldn't need to replace that often, maybe once every few years. Your top filter, you wash every few months and then you replace once a year. So that's why you get two spares. You get a pack of three, so two a spare and one you put on when you fit your bottom fixed filter. So we'll keep them safe and sound. Only problem is when you're doing up machines, you're buying them all the time. So you end up with about 50 trillion of these and no bottom ones. But still, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So what we need now is that little screw. Wherever the hell it's got, there it is. And that screwdriver. And then you have to work out which way. So it goes that way because it can go multiple ways. Get it the right way, people. So you just drop that in. No, actually, you don't just drop it in. What am I saying to you? Stupid. What you do, get your screw, get your hole, and thread it through like that. All right? There we go. You thread it in like that, because then, oh, it's twizzy, look. Woo. You've got that fixed, ready, so you don't have to fumble around in the dark all the way down there trying to put your screw in. So once you've got it like that, you drop it in. And once it's sitting right, you start to put the screw in and you will know when the screw catches thread because you can just tell when you're screwing it up. You'll know if it's caught thread or not. And I can tell that this one has not caught thread yet. <laughs> so just keep screwing and eventually you, it will catch. Move it about if you need to. God, that screw's going down all the way and it's still not in. Come on. I think that's it anyway. I think I've managed to get it on the... Thing. There's a little tiny plastic pillar in the middle that the screw sits onto and you tighten it onto that. Have I done it? I've done it now, yes. 
So that's in there. Again, tight, but not too tight. It doesn't have to be over tight because it never moves. That's a fixed filter and it's very lightweight. So it doesn't need to be too tight. Can you see in there? I think you can just about see it, can't you? Anyway, it's nothing special. And then you get your top filter, which is very easy because it's, you know, it's just a top filter that doesn't get screwed down. And that just sits on top of the bottom fixed filter. Why is that not going to... Oh, let's put it in back to front. There we go. Just turn it around. And that's in there. So that is the fil that's the only filters this machine has, as it is an early tight clean air up, right? So it's not loaded with filters. And what's more, it doesn't need to be. That and the paper bag is adequate. So that's in there. Lovely now. So you get your bag, whether you like... Mr. Roger, Ibasiak, using your proper, genuine, official Electrolux 500 series bags, reusable, or whether you're like me, using your cheap paper style, non-reusable pattern copy bags, put your bag in anyway, and it clips on to these two clips here. Great bag design, this. So your bag just goes in there, slides all the way down, and then it clips on these two plastic parts there what I like to do you don't have to shove your finger in round off the hole like that and it makes it easier for when this top contraption here goes over there so as I said there should be like a sponge ring round there if you're a collector you'll know what I mean so I'll have to find one well I usually just buy a kitchen sponge and cut it up and ram it on I think I've told you that before though because um, you can't get the original ones anymore and like I said it literally only is sponge so why the hell not so hopefully I'll never see this woman again who gave this to me and said oh you know it was my wedding present but I'm, you know I told her what to do so she knows it's gone to a good home anyway so there we go and as I said I will do the plug off camera what else was I going to show you so what we will do is we'll plug it in again and test the suction and the suction will be 10 times better than it was before with them dirty filters and that loaded up paper bag tool port Nothing wrong with that, although now it is on the carpet, I can hear the belt slipping a bit, so it will need a new belt. But I've still got a few 500 series to fix, so we'll do a belt in another video. I just thought I would try filming a repair on this tripod, because I always do, you know, videos as I get the machines and show you them, but I never actually film the repairs, because I'm not the best at filming, so I thought I'd do something different. So what we will do is pick this tripod up, move it back so you've got a good view or the best view that I can get you and we'll take all the muck off these old filters, all this dust. God, there were layers of it. Like that, the filters can be ready for the bin. Oh, they're the new filters, new spare top filters, so we'll keep them. I'll put my screwdrivers back in the thing where they go. Keep everything tidy, that's always key. And we will try to vacuum up that mess. You can't really see it. It's a shame on the camera. You can see that big clump there though, can't you? Let's trot it in. 
you can see all the dust in real life but it's a bit hard to see that through the camera so let's see now with this as I said it didn't need a new belt but after turning it on properly on the carpet I could tell it did actually but we'll do that in a new video um yeah so let's see how it does with the belt although we've done all the other stuff like we said <laughs> True quality that, even though it needed a new belt, it still got it all up with no problem whatsoever. So there you have it. I am now going to change the plug off camera because I don't want to run out of time on the camera and like I said you all know how to change a plug. So there it is, that is my Electrolux, oh, I forgot the model again, 1055. Z1055A, whatever the hell it is. There is my twin turbo 500 series. So I hope you enjoyed watching me fix it. Um, leave a comment telling me, and if it was awful, I won't bother, and I'll do them all off camera. But if you thought, no, that was a bit interesting, well then tell me, and I'll do more like this with the tripod. So thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Cheerio.